is south of Fort McMurray in Lacklevish where evacuees are gathered. So Julia, you, you speak. There's been a lot of things going on in my mind lately and some of these stuff has been bothering me for a while now and perhaps my entire life. But I also had a lot of time recently to properly think through and process through some of these issues. And I think a lot of it has to do with the way that I was raised and the childhood that I was brought up in. And I'm starting to realize how much childhood trauma can affect someone well into their adulthood. So I wanted to make this video to share with you what's on my mind, how I'm processing through some of these issues, and what I intend to do about them. Because I think it's important to do that, or else I'll feel like I'm constantly being trapped by my past and not be able to live out to my fullest potential. So some of the things that I'm working through right now is that I'm such a perfectionist, and I'm always so hard on myself. And I deal with a lot of insecurities when it comes to self-worth and self-esteem. And these are the things that I think caused me to stress a lot when I was working and my inability to deal with stress because they just piled on, causing me to ultimately burn out. I've always been a perfectionist and this mindset doesn't just apply to the work that I do, but also the way that I see myself. A lot of times I just feel like I'm not good enough and that I'm not enough. But the question is, when in my life did I start to have these unhealthy thoughts and unhealthy patterns where I put so much stress on myself? I don't think I fully unpacked and processed through all my childhood trauma yet, but some of the things that I can pinpoint to why this behavior exists is that I grew up in a very unstable family. Growing up, we moved around quite a bit for various reasons. So there's this sense of instability that I didn't like. So in order to to create a sense of stability, I need to achieve more than anyone else around me because I knew that I need to make money, I need to save money. So a lot of the problems that I experienced as a kid growing up wouldn't be there. And another thing is because I grew up in a Asian household, you know, the whole stereotype of Asian families, getting an A stands for average. I think there's a lot of truth to that from my observation and this is not to say every single Asian family or the entire Asian culture is like this, but from my experience and observation, this culture that I grew up with has a lot to do with comparing. And it just seems that no matter what kind of achievements and accomplishments that you've had, they were simply just not enough. And perhaps this is an Asian cultural thing where recognition, validation just doesn't exist. But growing up, I felt like no matter what I did, what kind of achievements achievements, accomplishments that I've had, they were just simply not enough for me to get acknowledgement and recognition and validation from my parents. And as a kid growing up, that's what you do. You look up to your parents, you seek validations from them because that's the only way you feel like you receive love. And I think having worked in tech also didn't help either. There are so many things that I'm very grateful for and all the skill sets that I've developed over the years. Tech is also one of those industries that are hyper competitive. So we'd get so many check-ins and one-on-ones and all the performance reviews, peer reviews. And the entire system is designed so that we keep on pushing the bar higher further and we're constantly reminded that simply doing our job is just not enough and this whole environment just helped enforce this unhealthy belief system that i've developed throughout my childhood that i'm not good enough and nothing i do is ever good enough which wasn't very healthy and caused a lot of stress which ultimately caused me to burn out. And this past weekend was Mother's Day, so we went to Geis' parents' place and we had a really nice dinner. 
we made some grilled shrimps and white asparagus because that's in season right now here in the Netherlands. And the whole time I was thinking, wow, this felt so safe and loving and secure. And it's one of those feelings that I didn't have a lot growing up in my family. And I can't help but think sometimes, what it would have been like had I grew up in a different family, having a different childhood environment, one that is more safe and loving? Would I still have some of these issues that I deal with? And would I still be so hard on myself, always so anxious? But to be honest, I think if I had the choice to relive my life in a different environment, a more safe, secure, stable, and loving environment, I think I would still choose to live the life that I currently have because as much as there were negative experiences, there's always two sides of a coin and two ways to look at things, the positive side and the negative side. I think it's because of all these negative childhood experiences that allowed me to understand what I like, what I didn't like, and pushed me to work hard towards building the life that I do want and also forced me to be responsible. And I'm really grateful for that. So I don't think I would want to change any Anything. However, the reality is that these negative childhood experiences and childhood traumas, they create thoughts and unhealthy belief systems that stay with us well into our adulthood. And I think those are the things that we need to let go of and realize that it's our inner child speaking, it's our inner child insecurity that's causing us to think a certain way, to behave a certain way. Because most of the time, these beliefs are not true. They are not a good reflection of the reality that we have today. One of the breakthrough moments that I have while processing through my childhood trauma is that I don't know why I've always had the impression that parents are always right. But at some point, I realized that they're also human and they're also prone to make mistakes. And when I realize that point that they are no different than any other human beings, they also can make mistakes and that we shouldn't see them as this perfect figure to look up to, that helped me quite a lot in processing through all the traumas and a lot of the things that I'm just not ready to share on the internet. But it's definitely helped me to understand that I no longer need to seek their validation. I no longer want to please them and that I am the adult now to be responsible for my own life. So I think it's time to work on letting go of this inner child that was scared, hurt, and whatever it might have felt. But we shouldn't let that past shackle us from living the life that we do want.